September is going to be a busy month. In my mind, the fall is a time of renewal. Even though I am not in school, I have decided to step up my goals to be more intensive and focused, almost like a curriculum. Thanks She Learns As She Goes for inspiring me with your monthly resolutions concept. Writing out my goals in a public manner helps me to be more accountable. Thank you to Shay Carl for creating Shaytember, a YouTube community-involved goal-setting exercise. The Shaytard family has been and continues to be a huge inspiration to me. They are encouraging examples to me of the human spirit. Their love for one another and ability to believe in one another stimulates me to be a better person. They instill in me a genuine gratefulness for life. My resolutions will be broken down into four categories, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. These represent the four quadrants of my life. While some goals may fit into more than one category, I will choose to focus on the aspect of each goal's appropriate category. The mental goal for September is develop an action plan for my consultation business. I am a certified MBTI administrator. MBTI stands for the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. The MBTI is a psychological tool used for personal growth and team building. The main idea is people have inherent personalities with specific strengths and can learn skills of other types to achieve a more balanced life. It has been a passionate dream of mine to become certified and it happened last December. Unfortunately, my business has not taken off the ground yet. My action plan will be to post one blog a week on my business blog, post one anecdote on the business Twitter per week, links below, and read three books related to my field. Gifts differing. Oops, wrong book. Shoot. <laughs> Gifts Differing by Isabel Briggs Myers with Peter B. Myers. I'm Not Crazy, I'm Just Not You by Roger R. Pearman and Sarah C. Alberton. And Modern Man in Search of a Soul by C. G. Jung. The emotional goal for September is to keep my anger in check. When I am frustrated and upset, I can tend to lash out at my loved ones. My countenance becomes sharp. I would like to remember to breathe in and out. I would like to channel my aggression to something physical like exercise or therapeutic like writing in a journal. The physical goal for September will be to repeat the goal of three and a half hours of exercise per week. I would also like to experiment with working out at home more instead of the gym. The gym costs $20 per month. It doesn't break my bank and it is fun, but I would like to cut down monthly expenses. Plus, they do charge a yearly fee. It would be fun if I convinced my family or a friend to take a hike slash walk with me once a week. I've been craving the outdoors lately. Maybe the Washington Mountain Air inspired me? The next few months of spiritual goals will be focused on the fruits of the Spirit. There are nine fruits listed in Galatians. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. This month's goal will be the fruit of love. My verses for this month will be Matthew 22, 36 through 40, 1 John 4, 20, and 1 Corinthians 13. Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Matthew 22, 36-40 If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar, for he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? 1 John 4.20 Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, 
and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail, whether there be tongues, they shall cease, whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity. 1 Corinthians 13. Charity is love. If we truly love people, we will treat them the way we desire to be treated. It is the golden rule. This is my longest video ever. Thanks for making it this far. What are your goals slash resolutions?